Johnny from Smoky Q. So I had a problem with my Yoder YS640, and this would apply to any Yoder that has a ceramic igniter. So my igniter, as you can see here, fell off its bracket. So you notice it has little keys and the igniter has little keyways on it. So sometimes it'll actually come out all, all the way. The ceramic part will pull out. Don't worry, you can shove that back in. And it's got little, you know, grooves and everything and they'll line it right back up. But to get this back together, all you're gonna do is slide, slide the wires through the little groove right there, the little slot. Then you're just gonna line up the little keyways. Line up the little keyways, and it's easier if I get close to do, closer to doing it. And you do have to squish it in a little bit, but then you turn it to the right. And just look through the back, make sure everything's you know in there and everything. So I noticed with my igniter before it you know, decided to completely fall out. It got really loose and it was, you know, wiggling up and down and everything else. So if you just turn it to the right, it'll hold pretty straight. So just, you know, the vacuum hits it, everything else. So you just wanna make sure it's holding in there tight. And when you twist it, you will hear it click. So that's how you know it's tight. So then all you do is you get your five, five sixteenths inch shock socket and put your bolts back through, line it back up, plug your weather pack back in, and then you're ready to go and cook again. So it's just my little tip and showing you guys how to get this back together. Thanks for watching.